Hey there, welcome back. This is Bo, and I'm gonna go over what I think is a very well-equipped car survival kit. Now, granted, where you live might be different. If you live in the big city, live in rural areas, live wherever, your kit might look a lot different than mine. But for me here in Nevada, we have to contend with very drastic changes in weather. There are a lot of open space between uh, cities at times, so you may need to think about that. So consider those elements where you are, you know? So uh, we're gonna go through what I have in my kit. I'll show you all the items and tell you why I think this is important. Uh, and so what we'll do is uh, I will bring the camera in close so you can see all the items very easily. And then I will explain each of the items and why I think it's important. All right, so we're gonna do an explanation of just the kit itself, all right? Just nice and easy. So first things first, this is an avalanche shovel. Uh, you push these buttons and uh, what will happen is you push these buttons and pull the handle out. Now you have yourself a snow shovel. I have this in my car when it is winter time because uh, you just never know when you might need one of these because it couldn't be, it's also, remember a lot of these items aren't just for you. If you see a stranded passenger or someone who's spun out, you can dig them out with one of these very easily. It's a lot better than your hands. Uh, these are like 25, 26 bucks and really a go-to item I would recommend. So that's just the one on top, okay? So the first, the next item is just everything. The tote, right? This is one of those totes you get at Costco. You get three of them, I think it's like 15 bucks. So you can get just a single tote, whatever you like. Uh, I prefer the clear ones, so that way I have the idea of seeing all the parts. Um, so that way you know, okay, I have all my stuff, I've got some ideas of what's in here. Um, cause it's not really like one of those concealed things where you have to conceal everything. This is just trying to make sure you keep organized. So one of these guys, right? It occupies a, you know, a chunk of the, the back of the car, but at the end of the day, you have your entire survival kit mobile. It's weather tight. So even if you take it out of the car or have to relocate because the car is, let's say, uh, compromised or whatever, you could take the entire thing. That's the whole point. You wanna have mobility, especially with a car. Because if you're trying to put all this crap together or put a bag together or whatever, it's too much. If you're already in a, in a situation where your brain is compromised, this is what you want, one tote. Okay, so let's pop the top on this. Now, I'd like you guys to remember that there are some items in here that I think that maybe you won't need, but as a dad, I need, okay? First things first though, tarp. Six foot by eight foot tarp. Uh, this doesn't really need much explanation. This kind of tarp is great. Uh, you would probably want one of these if let's say you're changing a tire and there's a bunch of snow, you can put this down uh, on the ground and keep your butt dry because keeping your legs and keeping your clothes dry is important. Uh, this could also be used as sheltering, which will go with this one right here. 100 feet worth of cordage. Uh, this is just polyester line. It's not, uh, you know, you don't have to go crazy and get paracord. This stuff is about three or four bucks at Harbor Freight, and you can pick up one of these for about the same. So uh, basically, if you understand how to do basic knots, which you should, which maybe we'll do another video. If you want to hear a video about five knots that could save your life, put down in the comments below five knots, okay? All right, so this guy could be used for all things. It could be shelter. It could be a windbreak. You can use that. Cordage is just vital for a lot of things. Uh, so let's do that. So we got tarp, cordage. What's next? Man, I should have cleaned this up before I... But it's a wood shop, right? What are you going to do? And now I've got stuff like hats. Okay, you can never have enough beanies, but in this case, I got a couple beanies. I got Jake the dog and Spider-Man mom made for Kai. So I keep a couple in there because I'm generally not traveling alone. I'm generally traveling with other people or the boy. Uh, so that is something you gotta think about. Next one is a good jacket. Okay, this one is a, is a great outer lining. So if you're just wearing a regular sweater like this, you can throw this on and it's a second layer that's waterproof. This could be used if it's raining or if it's snow out because you want to keep the water off you, but you want to also be able to layer because the quickest way to die 
is getting wet. And hypothermia is no fun for anybody. So a good rain, not, not a rain jacket, but this is a jacket that's rain water resistant. Um, one glove. That's not good. Where's the other one? <laughs> well, anyway, we'll get there. Uh, vomit bag. I don't know. This is just one of those things that if you needed a, uh, these, you can get these at, I don't know. I have a friend who's a nurse and I got a bunch of these for when the boy got car sick. So I usually keep a couple of these in because he gets car sick. Uh, other one I have here is just a very simple first aid kit. Okay, these are the things you can get for five, ten bucks. Uh, it has gloves, mask, first aid kit, basic things in case you need it. This particular one has a light stick, so if you had to grab this thing and bail, you could just grab this and you'd be good, right? It's at least a first aid kit that is available to you. Uh, I carry a daub bag, which is just another way of toiletries and stuff. Since you don't really know where you'll ever end up, I have basically like a backup pair of glasses because the last thing you want is your no glasses when you wear glasses, so I have a backup pair. Uh, it has stuff like contacts, gloves, USB drives, wine opener in case I find a really nice spot to stop and I just needed a wine opener. It also carries important stuff like an extra flashlight. These little dinky flashlights, you must not think that these are really good, but man, oh man, these things can save your butt. If let's say you're going in there and you have to check your car to verify something, you can use this for a long time. Uh, these are five, ten bucks. Uh, you can get the LED ones, they last forever. Uh, this is just a dob bag my buddy got me. Hat. Critical, especially here in Nevada. So this is just a, a, like a hiker's hat, but having some form of head cover when it's hot out or uh, if you have to get the sun out of your eyes, this is really good. So these, I think everyone should have at least one in your car at all times. Uh, so that's, that's another thing with the headgear. All right, this one might be the controversial one that you may not be able to do in uh, your state, but I can in mine. Welcome to Nevada. This is an AR-7. Uh, it's basically the Henry survival rifle. And what this is, is an entire 22 pistol, or sorry, 22 rifle inside of the stock. So if you pull this part off the back, come on, there it is. You've got your barrel right here, receiver, and I got about 30 rounds worth of ammunition, which is 22 long rifle, wedged in this, pla this paper bag, this, uh, plastic bag. So um, just in case I have to go across the California state line, I can easily grab out that ammo and put it somewhere else because uh, you can't, eh, the fun part about California, you have to have your rifle separate from your ammunition. So since I don't generally think most people are gonna be carrying one of these or people will be looking for it, um, it's just a safety precaution for me because you have to be aware of those things. But this is a 22 rifle with uh, 30 rounds and you can run 10 rounds in the magazine for this. Uh, it's a very slick gun. So uh, also it's water resistant. So you could drop this in the water and it will bob up. So this whole thing is would actually float. Uh, really not that bad to shoot. But it's a, it's a damn nice piece to have around just in case you needed it. So, truck gun. One of these. One of these. What the hell is that, Bo? That is an LED light that is solar charged. So you can put this on your dash and be able to charge it. So, boink, boink, boink. It's got different things. It's got flashing. It has whatever. This is if you are really screwed or you just need light. Again, another light. You want to have a lot of light sources. You want to have some redundancy. This one's killer. It's got a little hook you can get, which is kind of nice. And I think these are like 20 bucks on Amazon. But having that solar charge ability and this thing, if you really felt like it, it actually has a little deal here where you can uh, use a USB charger and uh, charge it up. So that's nice too, in case you don't want to go to that. So, okay. So we have a gun, we got lights, we got shade, all that other stuff. Oh, another light. <laughs> yeah. You can never have too many of these lights, especially one like this. I think this was like three bucks. You can get them at Harbor Freight. It's an emergency triangle. Okay. So why do you need an emergency triangle? Well, because if you are 
stranded or you are, um, let's say your car is compromised, it's near like a, it's on a dark corner or something and you need to bring attention to there's a vehicle there, that's what this is for. Okay, it's a red and then this is a good utility, it has a magnet in the back and then that's a red flashing. Okay, so you put this on your car so that way people can see you because visibility will save your life. Now the nice thing is about this thing is having the magnet in the back is you can stick it on the car. So you could actually stick it on the back of most vehicles. Again, this is $4 and the nice part about it, it's got a little hook. So in case you had to hook it somewhere, you can do light. Uh, again, you want to have redundancy in your kit. Okay, so let's go there. More lights. I run a thing of tick, like, like this is uh, Deep Woods insect repellent. You never know where the hell you're going to be, and quite frankly, you don't want to be having to worry about critters or ticks and shit on you. So let's say it's a couple days or something, or you're out in the middle of nowhere. The last thing you want to do is ritting around trying to fix your car, worrying about ticks and other animals on you. So that's what I do there. Uh, N95 masks, I've got a good amount. I've got five of them here just sitting around, just waiting. So uh, particle issues, you have, let's say, there, there's a lot of reasons why these are great. Um, you just want to have some kind of, well, there it goes. Went somewhere. <laughs> uh, remember when I talked about paracord and why paracord? You don't really need a ton of it. This is just a cute little 50-footer of paracord. Uh, why paracord is better than polyester, there's a lot more strength in this paracord than there is in that polyester. So nylon uh, cordage, it can get there a lot better than the polyester in some circumstances, but again, it's redundancy and having more than one option to you. Man, I gotta find them damn masks. Can't believe I just dropped them. I'm like, wow, this is really important. Make sure you're not, oh, just dropped it. There you go. Masks, okay. Knife. So this is a great knife. This is a Morakai Nai? Morakai Nai. Anyway, these are super good. These are like 12 bucks on Amazon. Uh, if you need a knife, you can put this on your belt and you have a killer knife. It's very sharp, holds a blade real nice. Uh, and the best part about these guys is that positive retention. You've got a scabbard that comes with it, so you can just go bloop, and then plop, and you're, you're good to go. Uh, having a knife on you is important, because without the knife, you can't cut the, the cordage, or you can't do it. Trust me, you want to have one of these. Now, just be aware that based on where you might be living, you might have, you, there might be issues with carrying a knife, but as long as it's not Generally, again, I'm not a lawyer, but if it's generally visible and it's obviously a hunting knife, I don't think too many people are going to have too many issues with you. Another hat, because I got more hats. I think I probably need to scope that down a bit. Here's one that's a little weird, but maybe other people don't need it. It's like a change of underpants and uh, pants for the kid and then a shirt. So I'll have to look at this one to make sure he still fits in all this stuff. But you want to have an extra change of clothes if you've got a little dude laying around because the last thing you want to do is be stranded someplace or unexpected stuff comes up, right? And you don't know where you are or where you're at. You, you don't want to be messing around with wet-legged kids. Okay, have a change of clothes if you have kids. If you don't, then Merry Christmas. You don't have to worry about it. But, you know, it looks like that damn... That, that, that was probably the one missing glove I was looking for. So it's a good thing I did this video. See, it's a good, a good thing to go through your kit every once in a while. Uh, f one of these fleece blankets. This is the one I stole from Kai because it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which all people will suppose is professional and uh, people generally like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think. So it's just a blanket. You want to have a really nice blanket of some sort in your kit, because that is really good. Uh, the next thing, I have an umbrella. This is a cute little one. Uh, a friend gave this one to me a long time ago. I think you guys might uh, uh, appreciate this one. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah, see, if you made it this far, there you go. I'm just joking, I'm not one of those guys. No, I, it's one of those where I'd never use it in public, but man, oh man, if you want to get attention to yourself real fast, not, you know, a dude walking around with a big middle-fingered umbrella definitely is going to get somebody asking, what the hell is going on with that guy? 
Uh, another one I have here is uh, trail mix. You can get this stuff. This I like the text mask. Uh, you want to have high calorie, uh, easy and light. So dried stuff like this trail mix is great. Nuts, a uh, little bit of berry in there too. Plus it's got a little Mexican's, Mexican kick. Just be aware that sometimes you have to make sure that the expiration dates are a thing. So you have to maybe put that on the end or the outside, the visible side of your box so you can make sure to keep an eye on those expiration dates and cycle in new, new food. But you should be doing that anyway. Just in case I have an MRE, right? I don't need much. This is just one MRE. This would be enough to feed quite a bit of us for a day or two uh, if you spread it out. Granted, it's not the best solution in the world, but hell yeah, you'd rather have one of these uh, MREs just laying around than nothing. Also, a bag of these. These are hand warmers. You basically take them out and then rough them around and then they get warm. Uh, there is the biggest problem you're going to deal with when you're talking about a car situation is absolutely hypothermia and managing heat, especially if it's the winter, okay? Because most of this kit is for Nevada and we're dealing with the winter. Also, in the summer, the desert gets pretty damn cold. So these things can really help, especially if you have somebody who's susceptible to heat issues more than others. Uh, one other thing you may want to consider throwing in there just as a nice thing, a pen. You never know when you need to write something down and don't have it, but now you know you have one at least somewhere on you. Um, next one, basic wrench set. Okay. So depending on your car, you might need metric or uh, standard. Mine's a Subaru. So they run metric for pretty much everything. Uh, this will actually do quite a lot. A lot of the Japanese uh, vehicles use the same uh, sized bolts. Like you'll like for a, for a Subaru, you just need a 12 and a 14 and you could take out most of the engine. But this is great in case you throw a belt or there's something else that you can fix real quick. Having wrenches on you is great. And this is not a lot. This is just a little, little baby wrench kit. Uh, last thing you want is one of these. One of these basically, if you open it up, is jumper cables and a little extra. So there's jumper cables, duct tape, uh, lights. This is some more gloves, so in case you have to do stuff. Uh, there is also a cleanup cloth. So these, they have these little compressed cloths, which are really nice. Uh, basic uh, medical kit. A safety vest, so you have visibility. Remember, visibility is important, as well as road flares. Okay, plus it has some um, zip ties. So I just leave it as is from when I bought it. Some of these come with Velcro on the bottom, so you can stick it on the back of your car if you need it. But you know, I don't really. <laughs> and then the last thing in here is just another freaking tarp. Because again, you never know when you need a tarp. So this is one, these are ones you can just do with as you will. But that is my presentation on what I think is an extremely well proportioned emergency survival kit for anybody. Now, special note with the AR-7, or in this case, the Henry survival rifle, you need to probably, you probably want to keep that more the middle so that way it's not visible because the last thing you want is someone saying this. Uh, also remember with all the cordage, you can rig yourself up a sling for this real quick. So a sling and a rifle are essentially what you need to do in order to be happy. But I'll teach you some knots on how to do that maybe later if you're interested. Again, thank you very much for all your time. I know if you made it this far in the video, why don't you put down I don't know, <laughs> which one of these items you felt was the, the one that woke you up to think, maybe I need to add that to my kit or even just make a kit. Tell me about a story that you encountered that maybe woke you up or got you thinking about this item or issue. So again, it's Bo. I appreciate all of your time, guys, and see ya.